A public hearing with New York City leaders today over the proposed removal of this. It's a Thomas Jefferson statue in New York City Hall. The City Council's Black, Latino, and Asian Caucus has approved for, or has advocated for years for its removal, and it's because the founding father was a slave owner. News Nation's Ayanna Harry from our New York City station, WPIX, joins us live now. Ayanna, you were at that hearing, and at one point, you told us that things took a pretty odd turn. What happened? So initially, there was conversation about moving the statue away from City Hall and the City Council chambers to the New York Historical Society. But ultimately, this council, this commission voted today to remove the statue from here, but they don't want to send it to the Historical Society. Part of the issue with that is the Historical Society charges a fee to get inside, and people felt that this should be, the statue should be moved to a place where people in the public can come and view it from free and also learn a little bit more about Thomas Jefferson and his complicated legacy as both a founding father and also someone who enslaved 600 persons. Uh, this debate was supposed to last for about 30 minutes. Instead, it went on for two hours. And the commission heard from people who felt the statue should remain exactly where it is. They argued Thomas Jefferson was an important leader. He helped write our Declaration of Independence. And they felt that his contributions to the United States of America should not be erased. But ultimately, this commission voted, and they voted unanimously that the Thomas Jefferson statue here inside the city council chambers should be removed. And they say it will be removed by the end of this year. Back to you, Nicole. All right, so they're removing it. Definitely strong feelings on both sides of that. Ayanna, thank you for that reporting.